Hey! Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. About time for a beer. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today we got us a beer from Magnify Brewing Company. They're out of Fairfield, New Jersey. And I have uh, I've done one or two of their beers so far. I think one, I know I've done one. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Rico sent it to me because he sent me this one. This is their Pollinator. And what that is, is a... Pollinator is a farmhouse IPA. Hopped intensely with mostly Cascade and supplemented slightly with Centennial. We added locally sourced honey in the bowl to add hints of honey flavor and aroma. 7.2%er. Uh, 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 the other honey IPA that I can think of would be the Bell's Two-Hearted uh, uh, IPA, but it's not a farmhouse or Saison type IPA. So, very colorful can. Got, uh, got a big... Honey bee on there with a hop cone for a body and uh, on a uh, on a uh, honeycomb there. Very nice. Uh, Rico just sent this to me. Uh, he says, uh, brew with honey, Cascade Centennial, 7.2, no date. Picked up at beer store for 13 for a four pack. Uh, according to their Facebook, they released cans of this on July 29th. And that's what he's got on the, uh, on the top here. So, uh. Let me get the top off of it, or we can get access to the to the beer itself. Uh, I don't have the IBUs listed here on Rate Beer or Beer Advocate, so let's step over to Untapped, and they don't have it either. So we just got the 7.2 uh, ABV on this one here, guys. Uh, food pairings for this style of beer is going to be the same as your regular IPAs, even though it's a farmhouse. So they don't differentiate, differentiate between uh, uh, them doing those these type of different versions of it. So uh, cuisine is going to be a curry to Thai, cheese is a peppery, pepper jack, Monterey, sharp, cheddar, stronger cheese is a gorgonzola, hamburger, and meats, poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon. I'll add grilled meat to that because everything comes off the grill. It goes well for a nice IPA. I fried a pint back in Nottingham Tumblr mug, side ale. I'm using my favorite glass today. This is coming out very light colored. And it looks like it's very cloudy too. And the beer is not recommended for extended cellarings. And this is a 16 ounce can, so I'm probably not going to get it all on the original pour here, guys. Wow, I can't believe how cloudy that is. Wow, that looks like orange juice. Reminds me very much of a Trillium or a Treehouse or a Tired Hands beer. I would say it's unfiltered, guys. What do you think? Yeah. Look at that. I'm impressed with these type of beers. I mean, uh, uh, I like it when they come out and it looks like orange juice. That means there's a lot of pulp goodness still left in that beer. It hasn't been filtered out. So, about a finger of head. Let's get a nose on it. Well, wow, it smells really fresh, guys. Uh, definitely getting citrusy, piney, grapefruit, pineapples, oranges, mango. Wow, grapefruit and oranges for sure. That smells wonderful. And like I said, I'm reviewing this on the 18th of uh, August. Uh, I 
just got it yesterday on the 17th. That's when Rico sent me a massive beer mail package. This huge beer mail package. Uh, 40 beers, probably. Uh, 30 some different ones, and then he gave me multiples of a bunch of them in there. Two of them, and some of them, even three of them. So, uh, a lot of them I've already reviewed, but he still sent a bunch of beers. So, Rico, thanks again, my friend, my brother. I do appreciate it. I'm going to have to come see you and share a beer with you guys. I mean, you, you're keeping me well supplied between you and Brandon uh, here recently. Uh, keeping me well stocked up. I do appreciate it, my friend. Well, it's time. Let's get it on. I'm anxious to try this. I'm very impressed with how it looks. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Cheers, Rico. Definitely get hints of that the Saison funkiness in there. It's not overpowered. It's not like drinking a Saison or a, or a farmhouse ale. Just a slight uh, evidence of it. And it does have a nice sweetness to it from the honey they've used. Very unique beer. I will say that. Not had very many... Saisons slash farmhouse IPAs. Hmm. Very interesting. That's tasty. That is very, very tasty, guys. See if we can get the rest of it in there. That looks just like orange juice, though. Looks just like orange juice. Well, let me take it back and let her have a sip two or three and see what she thinks of it. Sip on it for just a little bit. And we'll come back and uh, see where it ends up. Very different, but very tasty. I'll be right back. Hey guys, I'm back and I'm sipping on about 30 minutes or so. Very unique and very tasty beer. Uh, I can definitely taste the honey that they've used in this. The, uh, the farmhouse yeast, farmhouse style yeast they've used. Kind of subdued and it has a little bit of spiciness to it. Uh, I like the cloudiness of the beer. It looks very, very tasty. A lot of being an unfiltered beer, a lot of taste still left in in, 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 the, in the beer. So I did enjoy that. To be honest with you guys, so this is a tasty beer. I would buy this beer if they would date the can and I could get it here. Uh, I think it's a very enjoyable beer. Now, from what Rico tells me, that it's $13 for a four-pack of this for an only 7.2%. That's a little bit pricey. Uh, for 7.2%, I mean, you can buy a six-pack of Bell's Two-Hearted Ale for around 10 bucks and get six of them. Of course, this is a 16-ounce can, so their 16-ounce can is priced at about $11 or $12 for the 16 for 16 ounce cans, so it's in that area there. It's uh, it's not overly priced. It's pricey, but not overly priced. And for being an unfiltered beer, on top of that, which leaves a lot of taste in there, like I said, uh, it's very enjoyable. I like the nice change with the farmhouse solid yeast that they've used on this. So uh, I enjoyed it. I really did. If they would only date the can. Uh, and not have to go to Facebook or some other means to find out when the beer was brewed. And even then, without the date on the can, you don't know if it's this batch or their last batch, how long has it been sitting on the shelf. So, you know, it is what it is. Let's do the final chug on this one. Wonderful aroma. I can pretty much tell you this is a fresh can from all the aroma and taste that I'm getting from this. And I don't know how often they, they do it. Uh, the availability here on Beer Abbey says it's brewed once, so I kind of find that hard to believe. Uh, I would think they've done this beer before this. Could be wrong. I didn't research it or anything, but it seems rather tasty to me. Final job. Not your West Coast style with all that up in your face hop aroma. More of an East Coast style. But still rather tasty. For a fresh beer, it is a tasty beer. To me, guys, 
since it doesn't have the date stamped on it somewhere on the bottom, especially on a can, I think I'm so impressed with this. I think it's a nine beer in an eight can, and that's where I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna give it. Uh, I'm gonna give it to eight. Uh, numeric rating on this would be a ninety, and I'm gonna go against the grain from everything that I've read so far on Rate Beer and Beer Advocate. I think it's a better beer than what these guys are telling me it is. So let's go over to Beer Advocate. They think it's an 87, very good. I think it's a couple of notches above an 87. For especially what I'm getting on this, and I think it's fairly fresh. If this was done and packaged on July 29th, and this is the 18th of August, just a tad over two weeks old. Excellent aroma and taste on this beer. Over to uh, Rake Beer, they're not as generous. They say overall 79 and 58 in the style. I couldn't disagree with that more. This is a much better beer than a 79. Uh, at least 10 points, if not 11 points better than that. So, here's what it is. Over to Untapped. Untapped says it's a 3.87, which is an upper B beer, like a, a rate beer hat, I mean a beer advocate hat on it. Uh, Pretty close there. So, yep, and looking at uh, some of the guys that have commented on this, uh, a lot of these guys, this is August, July, April, January, December of last year. The first, the first one on it is December 12th of 2015. So I know this, they've done this beer more than once. This is not a December 2015 beer, I can pretty much guarantee you that. This would actually be a freaking malt bomb at this time of the year if this was done in January or December of last year. So, I think it's a fresh version and I think I've done it more than once now. So, with that being said, uh, I'm going to stick to my guns on this one. I think it's a very tasty beer. Like I said, if it had a date on the bottom of the can, I would probably give it just a tiny, slightly better grade. I'd probably go ahead and give it to nine. Uh, so. With no dating on it, and, and Enrico telling me that he went to Facebook and it says it was released uh, uh, in July 29, uh, which was last month, end of last month. Uh, I think it's a very tasty, a very well done beer, a very unique style with the Saison, our farmhouse uh, yeast to take use in there. So I enjoyed it. Very nice. Wasn't too bitter with all the honey that they use for this beer. Gives it a nice sweetness. Uh, tasty. I enjoyed it. So if you've had this one from uh, uh, Magnify Brewing Company, uh, their Pollinator, which uh, is their farmhouse IPA, very tasty. Let me know what you think, guys. And come on back tomorrow. Let's take something out of the bridge. Got a bunch of them in there now. Thanks to my buddy Rico. I'll be back tomorrow. See everybody then.